part two. Goodbye. I got a, another one. I got a, a grand kidding. To part two. Welcome to part two of uh, the adding the laser to the flying bear P902. Woo! -hoo. So, um. Ugh. Pool tab. Come back. Children, dumbasses, stupid people, shit for brains. That's yummy. Um, Donald Trump. It's also very offensive, Donald Trump. Um, do not watch this video. This video is not made for you. This video is made only for people who like, uh, like my videos and are interested in this thing here. Um, we're talking about adding the laser to the flying bear. Um, yeah, this is part two. Part one is uh, not this video. This is part two. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to, uh, or I'm going to tell you about, oh shit, disassembly, oh no, don't no, fall down, uh, disassembling the Mark 8 thing right there, and, uh, adding the brackets, and, um, the L braces things, and, um, um, I think that's about it. Oh yeah, and uh, getting the. I think almost everything's gonna be done in this one. So yeah. So if you followed me on Twitter, uh, you'll notice that I actually printed this thing out today, and this is the using FreeCAD. I made this thing, and this is a little mount for the um laser when it's not attached to the to the frame to the to the when it's not mounted on the carriage there so you can put it in like you can attach it to the frame with these uh t screws like this way or you can mount it on top kind of like that those screws and it works uh, well, I think. Oh, but it's kind of far, so. Did you see that? Oh, yeah, kind of. So, yeah, it works like that. You can stick that in there. Or you can uh, flip it upside down. And get it like that. That also works. So uh, yeah, I think I'll put this somewhere. You guys want this thing? Um, and uh, oh shit, there goes that. And uh, what else do I need to talk about? Um, yeah, wear your glasses. Use your fucking glasses. Don't fuck around. All right, so I took the camera off the off the tripod there and what I'm gonna do is uh, unscrew uh, th that bolt right in the center of the picture there and that one kind of I don't know focus no oh, wood grain wood grain wait Where's the pointy thing? I'm gonna take off that screw right there and that one over there. And you can see those are connected up into the aluminum. Right there and right there. So I've got. Uh, Hey, they're focused. I got a little uh, three-hole piece coming across here, and a little one, another one coming across there, and I dropped the two. 
three millimeters through that and then screw the this aluminum that's actually a three millimeter washer and a, a four or five millimeter washer and I just kind of you know to attach and that's pretty that's pretty on there so um, so I'm just gonna unscrew this is just connected underneath with one uh, three millimeter nut both of these two are I'm just gonna take this whole uh, laser assembly off here and then doing that will leave this mount and a lot of space for me to show you all the insides and stuff that need to be done so let me do that I need a screwdriver drive that screw all right, and so I put my little pinky under there. Pinky and little ribbon. Mm -hmm. And I just unscrew that. And that just comes right off. Okay, that's it. With the screw, with the nut still on my pinky. Because usually when you're playing around with stuff, you get nut on your pinky. What did you say? I've never got a nut on my pinky because my mama taught me where to shoot my nut. I mean, what? You're shooting nuts. Oh, crap. Oh, fucking crap. Shit, shit's falling down. Out of my pinky. Not on my pinky. Boom. Dropped it on the glass. Because after you get some nut on your pinky, what do you do? Wipe it on the glass. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, yeah, those came off. And uh, you can see how I attached the laser onto this uh, aluminum frame there. And, yeah, just some washers and 3 millimeter screws. So, that's what I did there. And... I'm gonna, what I want to do is have I want to print out um some kind of um, support or mount or something so I can just when I when I I just want to put the laser here like bloop and just have that sit there and then when I want to do some laser engraving I can just pick it up and put it mount it back with those two screws and then I'll have all that done but for now I'm just gonna put that over there somewhere I'll just put that way over there. All right, so now what I'm going to do is take off uh, this uh, fan and the heat sink and expose the internals of uh, the ex this uh, extruder um, and show you why we had to remove the all the stuff and what I did with the adjustments of the of the drive gear and um things like that so I'll take my screwdriver stick that in there go it goes in there it goes all up in there mm. I don't like your innuendo Reuben I don't like it it's making me feel all tingly and sensitive in my special places shit <laughs> Don't think about shit and tingling sensitive, sensitive bases. Alright, so... Oh, shit, there's a washer right there. Keep that washer somewhere. Put that on the glass bed. Alright, and uh, you can see that the the mount is... It's got a lot of space over here. It's got two fingers with... You know what I'm talking about? Right there. You can stick in two fingers. I mean, if you cram it in there, you can stick in a third, but... I don't know why you want to be sticking in three fingers. Three of them. It's just going to be a finger. Um, <clears throat> so you got the... Um, well, right now I've got the... Because I didn't take out, take out the... Um, and you notice I put a little washer right there. Because these um, screws are not the 40 millimeter... Um, screws that came along with the with the Mark 8 the four, 40 millimeters are these uh, Allen oh, where's the fucking camera these Allen wrench ones Allen key hexagon things that um, work but um, what I did because I, I wedged in the um, 
those L braces, I had to, I had to, uh, I had to get some space. Space, Galatis. What is that? Uh, you can see. Oh yeah, you can see that. Um, you can see that the L brace stops right there, and the rest of it is just there's nothing down there. Um, so I needed to um, span that gap, and I needed a 45 millimeter um, length screws, three millimeter 45 by 45 millimeter screws, to reach that, but. The 45 millimeters were a little bit too long, so instead of um, screwing into the fan the way it was, I kind of just put a washer there and just uh, made up for the offset with the washer. Um, so we're gonna pull that out a little bit, just a little bit, pull it out, just just tip, and um, come on, baby, let's go. Wiggle, wiggle. Alright, there's one. Alright, okay, the other one's coming out. Come on. There we go. Put that back together later. Alright, so, um, yeah, you can see here, heat sink. Alright, so this is what we got. Hold on. Okay, man. Not the best. Well, no, it's uh, good enough. Well, maybe not good enough. It's not good enough. Rotate the camera up. Hopefully, it won't. Okay, that looks good. Right there. Alright, so, um, the two, uh, three millimeters are here. Those go through into the stepper motor. And you can see that the L braces are just down to here. Um, you could actually put them a little bit higher. The this uh, extruder comes with this this uh, this hole, and the stepper motor actually slides into it with a perfectly uh, countersunk part that just slides into there to give it more stability. So, and the drive gear here is set further back because the stepper motor is closer right up on the on this frame here so because I pushed the stepper motor back for the L braces I had to pull the drive gear up forward a little bit if you're using a super fat um, uh, L brace see the L brace comes up this is a back back one comes up here and then comes this way and then I put like a little another piece of metal here to support this other stuff so I'll show you that in a little bit but um, if you use a super fat one like say if you're gonna put a big old fat chunk of aluminum like this uh, this is a lot fatter right so was that two millimeters three millimeters that might look two um, and so you're going to need to get a longer screw uh, to attach the stepper motor and go through this frame. The three millimeter uh, screw go through this frame and then into the stepper motor. And this is kind of shitty because you can't see the places where the screws are. Alright, so as you know, if you've checked the riprap, you know the Mark 8 has that thing, so you're gonna, you're going to. This is a Allen uh, wrench screw here. This is uh, by default, I think, um, 15 millimeters uh, long, three millimeters of course, but 15 millimeters long, um, and it's got a little bit of uh, adjustment you can do on, um, you know, if it's little bit further this way or this way it's got some depth you can move so I didn't have because my uh, L brackets my L braces were were not that thick I could still use this um, 15 millimeter uh, screw I didn't have to change it out but if you got a big one you might have to go for a 20 millimeter screw there 
and also underneath this uh, tension uh, this tension bar here for the spring you gotta when you're removing the stepper motor and making room you gotta take this whole uh, tension bar off and behind here of course there's a screw that holds this top top uh, right corner of the stepper motor onto the frame and that I think by default is uh, like uh, three millimeter by three millimeter screw by uh, what I'm gonna say five or six millimeters uh, long so yeah then again you have to you know figure out how long a screw you maybe I, I ended up going only two millimeters longer so I think I used a three by eight millimeter I think that's what I did um, and uh, yeah so this whole this whole frame here doesn't really uh, change it, the only thing is that you just got to go in a little bit farther into the into uh, to make that span and hold the stepper motor in place and so doing that you're just gonna attach the heat sink um, back on here that um, this filament uh, doesn't is not there remember you removed it uh, so you could have uh, uh, free access to all the stuff if you try to remove this um, this tension bar thing here with the filament still in there you could do it but you'd have a look you'd have to cut it here and then you'd have to or cut it somewhere so that you wouldn't have this fucking thing sticking out and then it'd be a bitch and a half to because if you cut it then to extract it later you'd have to heat up the heat up the hot end and then um, with some pliers or something try to pull that out and that's kind of a pain in the ass um, so that you could reinsert a clean bit of filament uh, when you're at this point before you put the heat sink back on you probably want to put the filament back reinsert the filament here um, because once you get the heat sink back on and the fan and you're trying to you know get this filament in between you know you you cleared some space here uh, to, you don't want this uh, mount right up on there because then you can't get the filament in there you don't want to be using uh, something like this that's completely um, you know there's no place to stick the filament and that will cover everything um, so you're gonna be working in a really small area so I suggest putting in the filament now just dropping that in there even if it's not like all as long as it goes down in the into the into the throat then I think you're good um, and you can check if the drive gear and this um, and this uh, I guess retaining uh, channel thing hold the tension and get the filament in there all right so that's all back together you got your um, you've got your mount up here somehow or yeah somewhere you put your you put your uh, heat sink back on you put your fan back on and yeah then you got your then after that then you can mount the laser so the laser is going to be on like the one the, like the way it was right it was it was on the outside and yeah then you're good to go with that so you got you're not it's still you just got the laser mounted onto the carriage and i think that's the end of part five let me check uh yeah secure the laser to the mount yeah we're right there all right next shit this thing is long um we're going to go to connecting the laser
to the Rams. All right, that's another thing that we got to do. And uh, I got 14 minutes left on this video, sir. So. All right, so I don't know how many steps this is going to be in. Um, so right now I'm going to just screw this back on together because um, I want to do some printing for the laser holder thing that I want it to hold. And so I'll put that in there and put the screws back in there. Alright, so to um, to connect the laser to the ramps um, you've got to it's only two wires that uh, connect to the ramps so um, and let's see how I wrote it out step by step so you don't electrocute yourself. Um, oh yeah, so you want to reconnect the, the stepper motors uh, back to your um, ramps. Um, you want to put the ramps back into this case that is in, in because you took it out to disconnect the stepper motors. And you want to turn on, so everything's all connected up except the 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 lasers not doesn't have any power. Uh, you want to auto auto home the printer, so it's going to go all the way uh, back to uh, here, and um, yeah, it's going to go back to auto home like where it is right now. Um, and. Uh, Yeah, you want to check, um, make sure that the the stepper motors are all working right. Um, and if you want to add another, like actually what I did and then what I plan to do here is, you can see this. Uh, I plan to print another uh, end stop so that when this when this carriage um, moves all the way over here it will hit this end stop and it won't hit the laser if I'm running the laser um, but yeah um, <clears throat> just for security um, so you auto home the thing and you turn off the turn it all off um, and then you, you will um, you will uh, disconnect the D9 here. This one, the D9. It says D9 there. You're gonna disconnect that one where your where your fan was, uh, and you will swap that with the power for the for the laser all right and everything's turned off everything's turned off okay um and yeah so now we got the laser connected and the power and stuff like that yay next <laughs> we're going to i guess well, we can either do a couple of steps we can either um make the logo or we can prepare uh to use test the laser and see if that's working and yeah those are some some steps so give me a sec <laughs> 